Hi guys, welcome to episode 32 of Mandy Pinecone Crafts. Today is Monday, June 12th. I hope everybody's had a good three weeks since I recorded last. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Mandy Pinecone. <laughs> and so this is should be somewhat of a quick episode. I've not worked on much but a little bit of um, I've got a couple things finished um, that are about to go to new homes so I thought I'd record um, before uh, they go away the first is actually the first um, is the cross stitch wedding present that I um, did for our good friends here um, my um, so when you guys saw it, I had Donna left to finish, and then I added names, the pink heart here, and then the date here, and then switched out Lake Champlain is now in blue, and then the heart is in um, white. So there's that, and then I just took um, and pinned it to some foam, uh, rigid foam insulation that I picked up at work. So there's that one, and I actually like how it turns out. Turned out. Um, so yeah, this is definitely going to be a gift idea if I have when I have a um, couple more weddings to do um, for different states or countries. Um, so there's that one, and then the big one I finished. I finished. Um, do it this way. Tanya's wedding um, present. Um, her wedding is this coming weekend, so I was able to finish this about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago. Um, and again, it's on rigid foam insulation, and then I have some pretty, like, crocheted looking ribbon around the edge. Um, so yeah, I still had, when I showed this off last, I think it was these two pages and then the two pages down here to do. Um, so there's that. And that pattern is Love Tree Birds by Dona Stitch on Etsy. And then I changed out all the colors to match Tanya's wedding colors. And then for this, it um, it's also on Etsy. It's, what is it? What's the shop name? Um... Oh, I have no, I don't remember, um, and then I just switched out, um, DMC colors and then added a little bit of sparkle into each of those. And then the other thing I finished was my So Faded, um, which is a pattern, oh, who is this book? Do, do. Oh, I don't have um, Renee Knits, I think. Uh, so, I finished it all. It's not done finished yet, but it will be um, some point soon. Uh, so, this is out of Fiber Stash in her Petunia, Toil and Trouble, Chalkboard, and then the very bottom is Jailhouse Rock. And this is on her Twinkle Toes base and it was knit on US 5s for the body and then sleeves for the ribbing, or size 3s for the ribbing. I can speak, I think. So um, I like the length of it. It's gonna be a nice, I still don't wanna block it a little bit to stretch it out because it is a little bit too big through like the, um, the sides, but it's super washed, so it should grow some. And it was a really fun pattern. The only changes I made was the so faded actually has a garter panel that goes down the top of the sleeves, and it stops when you um, 
separated for the sleeves, so I wasn't a big fan of that. So I just did the sleeves and stockinette. Um, so that is all that I've actually finished in the last couple weeks. Um, the only other th knitting project that I'm currently working on is my Campside Cardigan by Alicia Plummer. I've got... Where is the stitch marker? Um, I was... Ah, right there. Stitch marker. Here, when... You guys saw it last, um, and I've got about another inch to go on the bottom ribbing and then pick up for the button band and then do the sleeves. Um, this is out of Malabrigo Arroyo in the Palmo color. It's a nice purpley gray that I really like. I've still got that of the second ball and then another full ball so I should be able I should be fine with um, long sleeves on that and that is knit on sevens for most of it the last two lace sections are knit on eights and then the ribbing is now on fives and that is living in a in my sheet bag which is by Maria Ella Bliss on it I think she she had a shop on Etsy and now it's she has her own group but I bought this a couple years ago um, it's my actually my first sweater bag and then the only other thing that I'm somewhat working on is a um, cross stitch for my cousin's two-year-old um, her baby shower is in about a month give or take and his room is decorated as Mickey so I've got I am working ah this is actually showing up I've got I'm doing the love Mickey and I'm doing it on perforated plastic so it's like plas uh, plastic canvas but it's actually um, 14 count so you're for every inch there's 14 stitches so I've got the L um, outlined and then the top of the Mickey. This will most likely go with me um, this coming weekend along with my sweater and then I'll probably cast something mindless. Actually now my sleeves will be mindless. I'll probably um, that's probably all I'll pack. I might actually pack spinning. Yeah, I still have to figure out um, knitting wise what I'm going to pack because I'm doing um, going up to Toronto for Tanya's wedding and staying with um, Sarah, the Canadian knitter, um, had graciously offered uh, her mother's house for the bunch of us that are coming from the States. So um, Michael, the gay knitter, is going. Um, we're driving up Friday morning. Um, I had, um, Jess of... Sarah Nova, Jen of Uncreative Crafter, and then I get to see Lynn of Two Tangled Skeins. So it, sh it will be fun to actually um, get to see, um, see some of these um, people and then meet some of them for the first time. So that's going to be the fun part of um, this weekend. So I'm going to pack crafts, but I don't know if I'm actually going to work on them. Most likely, but who knows. Um, so, uh, let's enable, um, stash next. Uh, the first thing I got was my next Disney yarn club by, um, by Cuppy Cake Yarns. This is on her Yummy Base, which is 75% Super Mascherino, 25% Nylon, and it is Mushu, which is the dragon off of Mulan. He's a dragon, not a lizard. He doesn't do the tongue thing. Um, <laughs> and that's my favorite line of that movie. So this will be fun. It actually stripes it um, in different thicknesses. So it will be a nice sock to do at some point. Um, next, I picked up, I went to Must Love Yarn. 
two weeks, yeah, a couple weeks ago, and picked up some more Malabrigo Ovorio because I'm really enjoying how it's knitting up in that, um, my campsite. And this one is actually Sandbark. I've got two of these to do something with. I can always go grab, I can always grab another one if I need it. But it is a lovely tannish, like sandy, dark sand color. And it's not showing up right. But it's a nice neutral because I've got a lot of bright colored um, sweaters now. Um, okay, that, ah. I also got um, the rest of my order from No Name Needle Minders on Facebook. Um, I got a sheep with the daffodil because it's a little sheep. I got an M out of coffee beans, a front door with a holiday wreath. I just love, um, she put up a sh the sheet of doors and um, since I actually sell doors on a daily basis, I thought this was a cool needle minder to have. Um, she, she always adds a bonus. So I've got a star and then this is this happens to be my favorite out of the pile um so um it is i'm a print i'm a princess and there are days that i'm definitely a princess uh and then i also had to order something from amazon and was taking a look to see if there's anything else i needed i picked up a big thing of 18 count Cream Ada. I think this was a 59 by 36 piece. Um, so this will get cut up into a um, couple different projects. Um, one being um, another pattern that I just bought, which I don't know. Oh, you're not going to be able to see. Um, it is, um, in this house, we let it go because, oh, uh, who my, my Tata and bare necessities will always be our guide in infinity to infinity and beyond. All it takes is a little faith and a little bit of pixie dust, faith, trust, and a little bit of pixie dust. We keep swimming. We whistle while we work. We believe in once upon a time with a, with a bippity boppity boo Life is better under the sea because in this house we do, we do Disney. So I'm going to stitch this up actually one of the next projects that I start for me. It's all, I think it's going to go on. I think the cream or the dusty pink that I picked up from Picture This Plus. I haven't decided which one, but cream is always a good color to have, at least for me. And then I picked up um, a thing of, this is a fat quarter of China pink because it was a good deal. Um, I think that, oh, the other thing I got was in one of the stitching groups that I'm part of on Facebook, somebody had posted, um, a stitch at home challenge uh, that the San Francisco School of Needlework was doing. They're doing a uh, project called Summer of Love. So, and it's sponsored by DMC, which is for people that don't crust. It's one of the bigger embroidery thread companies. So you picked um, one of four um, thread packs that you would want and you have to use the um, three colors of each pack in the in your project and all you have to do is take a picture and send it to them but it has to be inspired by um, the 60s summer of love um, so I don't remember what my first choice was I think this was it 
but um, I got the psychedelic set. Uh, you had to sign up by like last Friday to get threads. So sorry. Um, so I it is the psychedelic set is a glow in the dark white, a metallic purple, and then a glow in the dark green. So I'm going to find some neat pattern. I have some idea of what I want to actually stitch, but this um, I will stitch up. I'm just going to do like a little ornament on perforated plastic, I think. Uh, but um, I my husband really likes a lot of the music from the 60s, so I've come to enjoy it myself. So it will be fun to work on that um, when I get back. I'm not going to start anything before I leave because I've got a couple other things like work um, to do before I leave. So um, hopefully I can get back to recording somewhat regular, regularly. <laughs> um, but until I um, have a good couple weeks until I record again. Um, bye.